Welcome to the Na Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Today I'm going to keep going on account schedules and this time around I'm actually going into Power BI as well. So it's going to be uh, some more technologies in there. Everything connects, obviously. Um, so how do we actually print out or, or view the account schedules? Um, and how can we get them into Power BI? And uh, so as we've created a few account schedules so far, and we can actually view them in a different way. For example, this financial or finance performance chart right here. I can select the chart and as you can see, these are account schedule chart lists. So they, they actually come from account schedules. Um, and uh, so they can be selected and viewed as chart over here. But there's some limitations to this and I did cover that in another video. Um, but it's kind of nice to get it here into the role center. Um, also, if I go here into the account schedules and just go into like this one, for example, uh, we can view them so they're live, and that's what I've normally been doing. You just see them right on screen. Um, and you can export them to Excel. We did that in one of them, uh, one of the videos. We can, of course, print out, and that can be printed out in PDF or just normally or even into Word. Um, <clears throat> but what I want to do now is actually go into something uh, it's a little bit more elaborate than that. Uh, I want to print out or, or get the data of the account schedule into Power BI and show it as a chart there or play with it in the Power BI uh, desktop. So if you're uh, familiar with Power BI, this is going to be uh, interesting to you, of course, from that perspective. If you're not, I encourage you to actually get familiarized with Power BI because it's very uh, a very versatile product, really powerful, um, definitely recommend it. So what I want to do is go here into web services. And this is a little bit technical. And uh, again, if you're not familiar with web services, that's okay. Basically, web services is just something that allows you to move the data from um, NAV to Power BI. In this case, we're using uh, something called old data. It does much more than that, but in this case, we're just using it to funnel the data over. So if I go here into web services, I get a list of all web services that are set up in my system. And out of the box, NAV sets up something called Power BI Finance Service. It's the account schedule KPI web service, and it's connected to a special area inside NAV, which uh, allows you to set up KPIs out of account schedules. And there's this, uh, they have an OData URL. This is a URL generated by NAV, which gives access to the data. And I need to specify this string here uh, when I open up Power BI, so I connect them together. So right now I'm just gonna go in here. Actually, if I click on it, it gives me I'm going to copy this out. If I click on it, it actually gives me the web page and lists out uh, the data there. But I just want this string, so I'm going to copy it for later. Okay. Let me go ahead and keep going here. There is something called Account Schedule KPI Web Service Setup. So that is actually setting up the web service. And in here, uh, we can select the account schedules we want to expose to Power BI. And you're going to see this in a minute, how it works. Right now, there are three of them exposed, none of mine. Um, but I definitely want to expose mine. So let me go ahead and add mine in here. So I'm going to uh, pick the new retail statement. So on top of just bringing in uh, the account schedule, I'm actually bringing in the account schedule that has dimensions. Uh, it's just displaying dimensions. And, uh, and that is gonna be really interesting because it shows that we not only bring over the GL accounts, because account schedules have uh, dimensions in them, they have GL accounts in them and all of that, as you've seen in previous videos. 
And in this case, I just want to bring in the dimension to show that that is quite possible. Uh, so I bring in the new retail statement. Uh, and uh, I want to set set the period to be current calendar year here. Uh, I want to view by quarter. That's good. The GL budget name, I actually want to use my budget here. So I'm going to use the uh, coffee mug with dimensions in here. And uh, I don't have any forecast here, so we'll just leave that. I'll just hit here, publish web services. So that this web service is published, and it's published as Power BI Finance. Okay. Now, I'm just going to get quickly into the screen here that's called account schedule kpi web service it's not the setup one but this one here this actually shows all of the uh, amounts for all of the account schedule um, lines and for the period so you can see here we have since it's by quarter here's the first quarter of 2018 and you can see it has the net change, balance of date, net change budget, all of that out here, data, basically raw data out of the system. Now, these uh, columns here, net change, actual, balance, etc., cannot be changed. So these are the columns you have to work with. They're pretty good, uh, but it, it does limit this feature a little bit, not, be, not to be able to kind of get this uh, differently laid out. But you can work with that on the lines. As you know, with the account schedules, there is uh, there are there's quite a lot you can do on the line with the schedule itself. So you can sort of finagle it to get the data you want in here. But if we go all the way down, let me see here. We have uh, the new retail statement. You can see the data is here coming. Okay, so what do we want to do now is consume this data into Power BI. So I'm going to do that. So I actually go into Power BI. This is a, a Microsoft product. It's meant to be um, basically business intelligence for the masses. It's uh, not very expensive and it's very powerful and it's very easy to do business intelligence in here. And uh, I'm just going to go in here and say get data and I have to get the old data feed. That's how it's coming from an AV. And then it asks me for uh, a URL and I'm going to copy what I just pasted before and hit OK. And it actually connects. So it does do a credentials uh, check before. So you might get a credential screen. We have to enter in your credentials to log into an AV. Right now, I'm uh, I'm using the credentials for the, um, the for this user that I'm locked in as, and then it gives me a snapshot of the data set. I just say load, and uh, and then I get all of the KPI data basically here for um, <clears throat> for the uh, account schedules. So how do we work with this? Now this is. Uh, there's a little bit of cleanup we gotta do when we get this data in, and that sometimes happens. When we get data out of uh, uh, ERP system, out of ERP, uh, it doesn't come in the exact format that we want always. So, so I can actually click here and see all of the columns and all the data that's coming in. As you can see, the date, for example, it comes in a date time format, which is uh, which includes the time. Now, time can be important in some situations, but most accounting situations, we don't care about what at what time during the day things happened. <laughs> so, uh, so everything is, of course, at 12 a.m. And we would like to remove that out of there. And uh, you can see that nothing has currency on here. It would be nice to see things in dollars. And uh, if you look further, you can see that the data that we want to take a look at is negative because I hadn't turned it around. So credit negative, we want to see positives. So what I'm going to do now is create three columns. I'm going to create a column for the budget. I'm going to create a column for the sales, for the retail. And I'm going to create a column that has fixed the date. So I can manipulate this data set. This is now Power BI. I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time in here, but I felt it was important because otherwise I can't really show a nice 
a final example. So I'll go for it. Um, new column here. I'm going to create a new column and I'm going to call that uh, date. Um, I'm actually quarter. And this is going to be the date quarter. So, like, um, instead of using this format over here, uh, we want to convert that. So, I'm going to format this date. And if you're wondering what commands I'm using and how I'm setting this up, these are the same commands you can use in Excel. It's a language called DAX or DAX. So, I'm going to format this. Um, <clears throat> and the value is going to be date. So, I actually have to format it twice. And then the year of this particular date over here. Let's see. And how you reference fields inside the uh, the schema here is by uh, by a bracket. So date like so, and then month. This is if you have worked with DAX. Uh, this is the standard way of actually converting things from uh, having time in them into not having time in them. So day, date. Basically, you have to deconstruct the date into this. Uh, I do it like that, and then I actually want to present this. Whoops. With uh, first the years, then the months, then the days. There's a reason for that, and I'll show you guys that in a minute. So let's see if this works. Yes, it does. So. My new column over here now looks like this, 2018, 1, 1, 2018, 4, 1, etc. So it's nicely laid up. It's much better than it comes straight out of NAV like that. Okay, I'm going to create a new column as well. Another one. And this one I'm going to call just sales. Sales, oops. And that is going to be equal to negative and currency. I can use the currency function and uh, I'm going to use net change net change actual right here like so and then I've turned it around and made it into dollars which is nice uh, I can see some numbers if I scroll down here um, okay, and then I am going to create another column, budget, you can imagine this is just like working with Excel, where I'm actually referencing uh, columns in Excel to create new column, Oops. negative currency, and that's going to be uh, not change budget. Right here. Okay. All right. So now I have created uh, all of that. And let's see if this looks good. Uh, go here all the way at the end. I see a budget. And I have. Um, I have the date correctly in. Okay. So now what I want to do is go into create a visual right here. And I'll just pick um, one of these column views right here. And for the axis, I am actually going to have um, the KPI name. And for values, I'm going to do net change actual. And yeah, so now it's displaying everything for all of the account schedules. So I just want to look at my own account schedule. So I can actually go in here and filter the account schedule. I get a list of all of them right here and just check that off. 
So now you can see that that works fine. Uh, actually, I didn't want that. I wanted my sales in here. So now you can see I have my sales. Uh, and let's see if I can get my budget in here as well. Now I have sales and budget. Now which period am I looking at? So we are actually going to create another visual, which is going to be a filter. And I'll put that over here. And that I'm going to show quarter, like that. And now I can filter on the first quarter, or the second quarter, where I just have, remember I only have uh, budgets, but no no sales. But here I do have sales. And I can actually uh, go in here and see data. And it does show me the sales and the budget from an AV correctly set up. So I know this was a, a little bit of an exercise in uh, Power BI, as well as connecting it to an AV. Um, I think I'm going to be concluding the uh, account schedules topic with this. Uh, who knows, I might pick it up again. But I think next will be analysis views. So again, I hope you learned something from this uh, and enjoyed it. Uh, until next time. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. As always, we welcome any questions or suggestions. Um, so leave comments or, of course, if you can subscribe, that would be awesome. Uh, we are trying to build our fan base over here at Anacta. And uh, if you want to look for further information, please go to inecta.com.